how to cast beautiful shadows exactly here without wasting time in many attempts, let's talk about how to paint a scene with the shadows. It's not always easy to add an external tree and immediately get beautiful shadows here in the center, just as we imagine. If we want a tree's shadows to follow this diagonal, crossing the entire scene and ending at the beginning of these steps, the first thing to do is moving the sun and target simultaneously. This doesn't change the lighting, because the sun's rays are always parallel on the Earth. However, it allows us to understand where the shadows will be projected. Therefore, we move the sun and the target, so that the target falls right where we want the shadows cast to end. Let's now add the tree. I suggest not using the trees from Cosmos, nor any other static 3D model. If I add this tree only to cast shadows, I recommend using the parametric trees of 3ds Max. Now, go to AC Extended section, select Foliage and choose a tree. Put it under the sun ray and adjust the height so that the top of the tree slightly surpasses the sun's line. Now that every piece is in place, the projection will coincide with the point where we place the target. By using a parametric tree, we have various options to play with, for example, we can adjust the density of the leaves. With the density set to 1, the tree will be full of leaves, or we can halve their quantity by setting it to 0.5. Here's how the appearance changes by adjusting the density. Then using the pruning parameter, we can modify the distribution of the leaves, concentrating on them, for example, only at the top of the tree. This would produce an area exposed directly to the light, with the shadow focused only on this other area. Of course, how you arrange these shadows is up to your style and needs. Let's quickly review the process to cast this other shadow. Place target and sun. Put a tree under its line. And check that the tree and the sun rays cross each other. I'd like to draw your attention to a detail. The sharpness of the shadows. As you can observe, while the shadows created by objects in the scene are well defined, those of the leaves tend to be blurred. This effect is due to the distance between the object and the surface on which its shadow is projected. Engines like Corona and V-Ray already simulate this blurring by default, adding more realism to the image. But what happens if we move the trees away? Will we get the same kind of shadows? Even if I set the right height to intersect the sun line, something changed. As you can see, now the shadows are more blurry. And the shadows become even more blurred if we adjust the sides of the sun's disk, using the sides option. This can be pleasing for the shadows of the objects, but the shadows of the leaves will tend to become almost invisible. If you notice that the shadows of the leaves are not appearing in your renders, check the site setting, as this might be causing excessive blurring. So if you are in this situation, use default value sites 1, to get a variety of shadows from sharp to blurred, and this combination will make the image richer in detail, improving photorealism.